this year sees the release of a new version of the Open Group's Archimate standard, Archimate 3.0. So what's in it? To get a full picture, let's travel back to 2002. This was the year in which a Netherlands-based consortium, the Telematica Institute, commenced a 30-month project to define a visual language that could represent complex structures in terms of business processes, applications and technology. This consortium came up with a core language that had three different aspects. The active structure, or the who, the behaviour aspect, the how, and the passive structure, or the what. This was Archimate 1. But people soon learned that Archimate 1 covered the core of the architecture, but not the motivation behind the architecture. Things like your goals, your principles, and your requirements. So this was the first edition made. An experience showed that, of course, people also wanted to describe how the architecture should be implemented. Steps to take, plateaus, and which work packages are part of the effort. An implementation and migration layer was introduced. This was Archimate 2. So where are we now? Well, firstly, and probably most importantly, we're in a much more dynamic and disruptive environment. Organisations are surviving on their ability to change, and more and more organisations are recognising that enterprise architecture is not just an IT thing. This has led to a growth in Archimate being regarded as a means to clarify, realise and implement transformation. So over the last two years, the Open Group has been hard at work on a new version of Archimate that covers the gap between business and strategy. The result is the introduction of a new strategy layer. The strategic strengths of Archimate has also led to use of the standard moving out to other, more physically based industries. If Archimate is to support this, the physical world needs to be mapped. Compounding this desire is the rise of physical things, from thermostats to delivery drones being incorporated into the IT network. This is sometimes called the Internet of Things. In Archimate 2, we could model the Internet, but a new version is required to map the things. Hence, Archimate 3 has a new physical layer associated with the technology layer. And this is Archimate 3. Other new features include new motivation concepts, new entities and improvements in cross-layer relationships, and in the viewpoints definition mechanism. For more detail, download the Archimate 3 specification from the Open Group website. Goody Learning will be supporting the release of Archimate 3 with immersive and effective online training. Check our website for details on how to get certified with Goody Learning.